Hi Scorpio, Trishna here. Welcome to your September to October love tarot reading. So what I'm feeling in the Scorpio collective energy right now is I feel like your romantic relationship, if you're in a partnership, I feel like it's going really well on the surface. But internally, Scorpio, I feel like there is a lot of sadness that you have within you. I feel like that sadness is very deep. And I feel like it's something that you really need to sort out and you know that. And I think that you also know that there's really not a lot of people out there who can help you. You can maybe, um, like if you went to a therapist, that wouldn't really help you figure out how to handle the sadness because you don't even know what it is. You know that it's there, but you're not really sure where it's coming from. You're not really sure how to define it or you're not really sure how to explain it. So if you were going to go to a therapist, you wouldn't really have a lot to say. You wouldn't know where to start. And that's why there's not a lot of people out there who can truly help you with this. And I think you're okay with that. You know that this is an internal journey. And I think that even though you're really sad, that this is something that you really want to figure out and that you will figure out. Now, if you need some help with this, this is something that you can go to a psychic with or to a tarot reader with, because again, this is something that you may not know what it is. You just know it's there and a reading can kind of help reveal some of that. And so we're going to reveal a little bit of that for some of you um, when I when I pull or when we look at the tarot cards. Uh, the other thing though that I wanna mention before we get into the tarot cards is <clears throat> your sadness is not something that is going to negatively impact your current relationship. So your partner more than likely doesn't really pick up on the sadness that you have. Like I was saying in the beginning, your relationship with your partner is actually pretty good on the surface. This is an internal sadness that really is within you and I don't really think it's connected to the relationship. It's just something that you really hold personally, like something that's just unique to you that you just need to sort out. And so your partner may pick up a little bit on the fact that you're sad or maybe something's a little bit off, but I think for the most part, they're not really picking up on it that much. And if they do pick up on it, they might feel a little bit sad for you because they know that you're sad and that kind of hurts them. But this isn't going to be something that negatively impacts your relationship. It's not going to be something that creates some huge drastic fight that could make or break your relationship. So I don't know if any of you were concerned about that, but I was getting that to share with you. So let's go ahead and look at the cards. So the first card that we have here is the Ten of Pentacles, and this basically represents having a lot of abundance in your life and kind of hitting your goals. For you, Scorpio, even though you're getting this card, and you on some level know that you have a lot in your life, you're not always able to truly connect with it or feel with it. And that kind of goes along with this Eight of Swords. So first kind of getting into this Abundance card. You have a lot of love in your life, Scorpio. Your partner loves you so much. You are just so blanketed, so comforted, so enveloped in love by your partner. And you know this, you know this on some level. But the Eight of Swords makes it so that you sometimes can't really connect to that or you can't really feel it or sometimes in your mind you can't really understand it or like see it or accept it. So you know that on some level that you were so loved, it's so obvious, like it's always in your face. Like this person just, like I was saying, envelops you in love. But sometimes your mind and your mind kind of gets a better view and like even though on a deeper level you know this, mentally you can't always like accept it. And understand that you're loved and you can't always feel that but you are incredibly loved now here is where this is stemming from and if you need further guidance um, I'm gonna mention this at the end of the video anyways but I offer a one-on-one -on -one, like deep dive tarot session so if you're interested in that you can reach out to me the information will be in the description box below but for some of you, this is going to be where you need to start and where you need to start doing some of that soul searching and kind of uncovering what it is so that you can release it. And that is the Six of Swords. <clears throat> so the Six of Swords to me is saying that you have a lot of like sadness or maybe loneliness and you maybe fear, and I guess this is why I was getting into the intuitive portion, you maybe fear that your partner is not going to stick around or maybe you're not worthy of having a partner that sticks around or you fear abandonment in some way. Now that's not gonna happen with this partner. Like it's just, if this reading is resonating, it's just not gonna happen. They just love you, they're in it and your feelings, your fears are not actually impacting your relationship, which is good. A lot of times whenever we have certain fears, they start to become a reality because of our thoughts and our vibration, but that's not gonna happen for you, Scorpio. You're you're pretty good because you're very solid. Like deep down, you know that they love you. And that is the true core that you are vibrating. 
but you do have this aspect of you that is sad that feels like you may be ab abandoned. And I think that this stems from some form of abandonment that happened in your family when you were younger. So it could be that somebody abandoned you, but I feel like there is something that happened when you were younger, most likely something to do with family, where you feel like you abandoned someone else. So maybe you abandoned a sibling, maybe you abandoned your father. I feel like for a lot of you, it could be, for a lot of you who are resonating with this part, this card is kind of dependent. This is a general reading, so this card may only really fit certain Scorpios, but I feel like it's more than just a few Scorpios. I feel like this is the root for a lot of you. So for some of you, it could be like, yeah, but you abandoned maybe a sibling or you weren't there for a sibling or you weren't there for your, your father. But I feel like for a lot of you, it could be that you feel like you abandoned your mother. And that has really created a very deep sense of sadness within you. And and again, it could be that somebody abandoned you. So it's, it's either or, but I'm just going to go with this kind of, you may have abandoned someone else. And yeah, it's filled you with a lot of sadness, maybe a lot of regret, a lot of not knowing how to make up for that or how to forgive yourself for that or how to show people that you were there for them. And that kind of sadness seeps into your relationship and sometimes makes you feel like maybe you deserve to be abandoned too or maybe you will be abandoned as well. Or maybe it even creates some kind of confidence issue in you in terms of like, will you abandon this person in your life that you love? So that's where I would start, Scorpio. I think that would really take you a long way, starting there with some kind of abandonment in your childhood and possibly something where you abandoned somebody else, where you didn't show up for them. And abandonment is kind of a broad term, so really think about, and again, this is general reading, so it's a broad kind of term, but really sink in and like try to figure out how you might not have been there for somebody and how that may have been have really impacted you at the time and how you may be carrying that with you forward and not even realize it. And that's why like you haven't made the connection with your sadness and this event is because you haven't realized that you're carrying it with you all this time. So Scorpio, that is what I received for you. Like I mentioned before, if you would like to have a deeper dive tarot session with me, you can um, look at the description box below and there's more information on how to do that. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope that you really figure out what's going on because once you release it, you're going to feel so much better, so much happier. You're going to feel like you can actually be present in your relationship. I think sometimes you feel like you can't be because the sadness is there and it's deep. And it's not like depression, but it's something that's inside. And it just needs to be released. It needs to just kind of come out of you, be given up to the universe so that the universe can kind of turn that into positive energy and share that with whoever needs it. So again, I hope this video served you. Please leave me a like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.